What's going on guys? This is Eddie, AKA Mr. Eddie Nunez. Welcome back yet to another video. And today I have the Avada with me and today's video is all gonna, it's gonna be all about the Avada. So I just wanna first start by giving a huge plug in to a plug to Droneworks, Zach and Team's Droneworks uh, shop. They are the ones that supplied me with the Avada when it, first, when it was first released. So again, I highly recommend Droneworks for all your drone needs. Make sure you reach out to Zach Send him a note, let him know that Eddie sent you. But today's video is all about the Avada. This is the first time that I traveled with the Avada. So with me today, I have the Air 3, which is currently doing a hyperlapse. I have the DJI FPV um, drone with the GoPro on top. And then I never really traveled with the Avada because it's a Cinewhoop style drone. And I was always afraid of all the, you know, just the wind and all the uh, micro jitters that this drone has. And it doesn't really do too well. Anybody that, that's into FPV will know that because of the ducted props, they all know that the Avada doesn't handle well with wind. But I have to say, this trip, I decided to bring it, and I have to say that I don't regret bringing the Avada at all. And actually, I think I'm gonna be bringing the Avada every single trip, um, every single trip that I do versus the FPV drone. And I'm gonna give you three reasons why I think the Avada is such a, a, a much better drone to, to travel with uh, versus the FPV drone and of course just you know those custom homemade drones so let's get right to that All right, so I said I was gonna give you three reasons why I love the Avada versus the FPV drone. This is the first time that I travel with this drone. And the number one reason is safety. I mean, 
the this Avada, I actually feel really, really safe going through any sorts of gaps here in the monument of Santiago. As you saw, I went through all these little gaps through trees, around people, near the pigeons, and I had no doubts in my mind that I, I was, you know, having a safe flight and this drone was pretty much harmless. Um, it, had it been the FPV drone or any other five inch drone, you really gotta be careful and I'm very cautious when flying that drone. So that's the number one reason why I would prefer the Avada, especially in, in an environment that I'm not familiar with, is because of safety. Number two, battery life and weight. Believe it or not, you know, this little, this little drone, the Avada, is extremely lightweight compared to the DJI FP FPV. If you have a DJI FPV right now, go ahead, take, pause this video, go ahead and grab it, put a GoPro on top if you have a GoPro with the battery and feel the weight of that tank. That is a very, very heavy drone. Now it is a very powerful drone compared to the Avada, but you also have to understand your environment and the situation that you're in. In an environment like this, in a foreign country such as the Dominican Republic, in a city as, as Santiago, I feel much safer flying the Avada because of um, the weight, right? It's, it's just a, a nimble drone. If I do happen to hit anything, I feel much better hitting something, not someone, but something with this. And then the battery life, of course, because of its weight, I'm getting about 10 minutes of battery life here in the island, which is absolutely amazing. If I were to fly my DJI FPV drone, I'm going to be getting about five minutes because of the weight and the added GoPro on top. So that's reason number two. Reason number three, AccuSync 3. AccuSync 3. Um, AccuSync 3 on this drone is actually quite incredible. I'm able to go behind buildings. I'm able to go through those obstacles, through trees, and I'm not losing signal. And with me, I have the old standard um, DJI goggles, the, actually the, you know, the, the first versions that came with the DJI FPV because I didn't want to carry with two goggles and now I know that the DJI FPV was updated to include um, compatibility with the goggles V2 but I just chose to go ahead and travel with the original goggles to um, I'm sorry the goggles, the FPV goggles, you know what I'm talking about, the big ones um, because I wanted it to be able to pair with both drones without doing any other firmware updates I want to try to stay as far as possible from Remote ID. This is Remote ID compatible. I did upgrade this, but the FPV drone, I want to stay uh, far away from, um, from Remote ID. So I just played a montage of video that I captured using the Avada from Samana, which is four hours from here, and yet here at the city in the famous monument of Santiago. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I now know that this is a daily carry for me, the Avada. I mean, with its great camera capability, um, with 
you, once you install the ND filter on this little guy and you set your camera with the right settings and you tune it um, to your liking in terms of stick sensitivity and such, this little guy I think is gonna be my go-to drone. I'm not gonna be traveling anymore with the DJI FPV, especially to the Caribbean islands. I'm just gonna be very cautious and in, 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 in terms of the environment that I'm flying my Avada and ensure that I'm not gonna be flying in 50 miles per hour winds. And this little guy has proven itself here in the Dominican Republic. And this is why this is gonna be my new go-to drone when traveling. So that's all guys, that's all that I wanted to share. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what questions or comments you have in the comments below. I'll be sure to reply to all of your messages and uh, I appreciate all the support and love. Please make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. And until next time, peace. Say